Hey everyone, Let's Lounge here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save a custom video preset, which will allow you to edit your videos, uh, get the colors right, and actually save it for use later. Um, this is kind of like you would do with a LUT, um, but this gives you a little bit more control um, and will allow you to create some really cool custom uh, effects, especially if you're shooting videos where the lighting is pretty much similar um, uh, in, in all the scenes and you can apply uh, this same saved preset to all your clips and you'll be that much uh, closer uh, when it comes to uh, color grading and, and everything like that. So uh, the first thing we're going to do to create this is I'm actually going to apply a LUT uh, to this just because I, I want to have a good starting uh, starting base for these. And so what I'm going to do is go into my video effects. I'm going to go down here to color and I'm going to choose custom LUT. I'm just going to drag that over onto my video clip. Now in this LUT picker here, uh, the one I'm going to choose is called uh, Bronze. It's in the Cinema Noir uh, collection that is available on LUTSLounge.com. You can go over there and see more that's included in that collection. But I'm going to click on that one. You can see the effect it gives. Uh, really kind of a cool uh, warming effect, but also a little bit more moody, a little bit more contrast. Um, and it, it actually affects the, the uh, curves as well. Uh, but uh, that's my starting base for where I want this video clip to, to be. Now I'm going to go over here to uh, my color board and I'm just going to change a couple things, especially on the color. I'm going to take the black point and I'm just going to add a little bit more blue to the black point, uh, just right around there. So you can see in the shadows it's getting a little bit more blue. And then maybe take the exposure and bump up the brights uh, and the highlights there and take down the shadows just a little bit more. So that is basically our clip graded there with starting with the LUT and then changed a little bit of stuff in our color board. We didn't have to go into the color wheels or the color curves or anything like that. Uh, we just basically got our effect just really quick and easy, just like that. So now what we wanna do is save this uh, as a preset to apply to other clips. So in Final Cut Pro, you're gonna go over here to File and you're gonna click Save Video Effects Preset. So in here, you're gonna get the uh, preset box over here and it's gonna allow you to choose what you want to save. So if you've done more to this clip where you've cropped it a little bit, you've changed uh, the position, the rotation, all that fun stuff, you can actually change that as well and make it all be exactly the same or you can just do the color effects that we've changed here. So I'm gonna click on, make sure those are clicked there, those three effects, the, uh, the main effects category and the two effects that we applied and I'm gonna name it. So I'm gonna call it, um, let's see, grunge uh, warming. I don't know, just gonna name it something. Uh, and then we're gonna click our category, wherever we wanna put it. I'm gonna put it in the custom category. That way I know that I've actually done those. Or you can go in here and create a new category if you want to. I'm just gonna put it in custom. And then I'm gonna click save. So now we have our effects saved. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to my inspector and I'm gonna delete my custom LUT and then delete my color board change as well. So now this is our clip uh, back to the way it was. So now if I go into my custom effects here, you're gonna see the grunge warming effect. I'm gonna click that, drag it over, and there we go. So it didn't just apply the effect, the, the color changes, it actually applied all of the effects that we uh, have in the inspector. So you're gonna be able to see each individual change that you made and not just one general overview of the colors changing. So you're gonna be able to see each individual one. So you could toggle this off, toggle it back on, do the same thing here. Um, but, uh, but that is basically how you create your own preset, much like you would probably do in Lightroom uh, or Camera Raw if you're using photos. Uh, this is a, another way of doing this. So you can build upon your presets uh, you can build upon your LUTs and, and make these different effects. So uh, I do recommend starting with LUTs, not because they're available on our site, but because they do give you a really good starting point and then you can kind of develop them there and then save them as a preset. So it's a really cool way of editing your photos and making sure everything is all together uh, looking the same. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. Head on over to LUTSLounge.com again. We have a lot of LUTs over there, a lot of cool effects that you can apply to your videos. Uh, and they work for Final Cut, Premiere, DaVinci, all those popular video editing programs. So I appreciate you guys joining me in this video and hope to see you in the next one.